welcome to this week's vlog. So in continuing the theme around models based practice, in this vlog I'm going to introduce the sport education model. I'll firstly introduce the bigger ideas that surround sport, then consider um, what sport education might be, the learning outcomes of sport education and the key characteristics, features or non-negotiables of the sport education model. Hopefully this will give you some, a good introduction in some, to some of the ideas that underpin sport education. So firstly, the idea of sport. Well, sport plays a major role in physical education and has done for a number of decades in a number of different nations. If we take the multi-activity approach, we can see that sport plays a dominant focus within this. And while different activities may be more prominent in different countries, we can see that sport is a large feature of the curriculum. Now sport also plays a major role within culture, society, entertainment and way of life. If we take rugby in New Zealand, the haka is a representation of this nation's history and culture. If we look at Brazil and football, beyond the national team of football and the national Brazilian football team and the significance of this, football plays a huge role as a pastime in this nation. We also see sport as a form of entertainment and a product with huge investments of money. Take the American football and the event of the Super League. The five billion just been invested in Sky Sports for the Premier League in the UK. And the huge investments of money, of money countries make for the Olympics and the entertainment value of the opening and closing ceremonies. We also see sports performers as role models in nations and key figures in society. Sport is a big part of societies and culture. Now health organisations and um, different governments and policy makers also consider that sport plays a key role in social and personal development and a number of health outcomes. A white paper in 2007, amongst others and loads exist, positions sport as a way to um, develop social skills, citizenship, ethics, morals, and a whole host of other factors. So sport is being positioned as playing a key role in health, social and personal development. With this in mind, sport seems to be an important focus for physical education. So what is sport education? The idea for sport education came out of um, Daryl Seidentop's dissatisfaction with the current way that sport was taught in schools. If we turn to the last week's a vlog which talked about the warm-up skill and game approach, we can see that this is how sport is taught in schools in the main. Through this approach students just learn about the physical aspect of sport, the performance aspect. And as I've previously discussed, there's a whole host of other factors that go, go into sport. For example, the league factor seen within the Premier League. The event factor is seen with the Olympics and the opening and closing ceremonies, but also the culminating event of the Super Bowl. We also see a high focus on teams and roles in sport, and these aren't essentially captured through the prominent focus on warm-up skill and game. So if we are to legitimately teach students about sport, and since it has a high social and cultural value with numerous personal, social and health benefits, there is a need to educate young people about sport rather than simply having them just play and being as performers. So the idea of the sport education model is about education about sport. So if we are to educate young people about sport, we might consider what are the key learning outcomes. And this is the third aspect to this vlog. So in proposing that we need to educate young people about sport, there, it was proposed that we need to develop competent, literate, and enthusiastic sports people. A competent sports person is someone who has developed skills and strategies to the extent that he or she can participate in a game. A literate sports person is someone who understands and is knowledgeable about the rules, traditions and values associated with a specific sport and is someone who can distinguish between good and bad practices. An enthusiastic sports person is someone who plays and behaves in a way that preserves, protects and enhances the sport's culture. Well, in order to meet those learning outcomes of competent, literate and enthusiastic sports people, 
there are key characteristics or features that were identified. There were six of these proposed. Now these six should be used across a unit and a unit that is longer than six lessons, a unit that encompasses perhaps a whole term, maybe 24 lessons, and represents a longer term period that is involved in the practice of sport. So the six features are, the first one is seasons. This represents the pre-season, the main season and the post-season events. The next one is affiliation. Being part of a team and being affiliated to a team that has an identity and then each person understanding their role within that team. So the next one we have is formal competition. And this brings into place where we understand the aspects of winning and losing and perhaps have formal competitions such as a league. The next one is a culminating event. This might be uh, something similar to the Super Bowl or it might be a gala or the finals. Another aspect is the festivity. Festivity similar to the opening and closing ceremonies and what it does is acts to teach students about the culture of the sport and the wider aspects. And the final one is record keeping. Keeping track of the scores, keeping track of the team's performance and, and analysis. So understanding how well the team is doing. So through those six characteristics or features and others have referred to them as non-negotiables, the students can be educated about sport and it is proposed that students can become competent, literate and enthusiastic sports people. But hopefully the idea of this vlog has shown you that if we're going to do sport in physical education, we need to consider the educative aspects of sport rather than students just being performers and uh, focusing on the physical domain. Sport does play a huge role in society, it plays a huge role in culture and maybe our aim is to teach students about the wider aspects of that and how they can engage, uh, understand in various roles whether that be a volunteer, a performer or a coach. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, um, I hope it's maybe challenged some of the ideas around sport in the physical education curriculum and I'll see you in a couple of weeks where I return to some of the key ideas about the sport education model.